Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're trying to find the second moment of area of a circular area with the center of the circle at the origin. Now, finding the second moment of area there is akin to finding what we call the torsional constant. If we assume that we have a circular pillar like this, or maybe a cylindrical pillar, might be a better description, and you apply a torque at one end of that pillar, you tend to have what we call torsion. You have a twisting, bending motion here, and the stronger the pillar is, the less it will bend or, tor or torque, or the less change in the angle you will have here, and the weaker the material is, the greater the torsion on that pillar. So we can determine the torsional constant, which is the same as finding the second moment of area, by placing the cross-section of that pillar right there at the center of the x-y axis, at the origin. And at that point, we're going to find it by taking the integral, or the double integral, of r squared dA. r is the distance from the point of rotation here, or from the center, to an area element. And the area element dA in, um, well, cylindrical coordinates would be r dr d theta. So we're going to first integrate around the circle, around theta, and then we're going to integrate from zero to the radius, the full radius of the circle. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we get. Again, this is in general. We don't have specific dimensions of that. We'll get the same equation for any such shape. So this is going to be equal to the double integral of r squared times dA, which is r, times dr, times d theta. Now, this can then be rewritten as the double integral, and I'm going to separate this out now. We're going to get r cubed times dr, integrating from 0 to r, times the second integral, which is going to be d theta from 0 to 2 pi, because we're going to integrate all the way around the circle. So that's an easy integral. This is equal to the integral of r cubed dr from 0 to r times theta evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. Of course, when you, oop, theta, not 0. Of course, when you, in, when you plug in the limits, when you plug in 0, you get nothing. When you plug in 2 pi, that's a constant. So this can now be written as the second moment of area is equal to 2 pi times the integral of r to the cube, or r cubed times dr from 0 to r. And that's also a fairly easy integral. So this is equal to 2 pi times r to the fourth power divided by 4, evaluated from 0 to r. Again, when you plug in the lower limit, you get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, you get 2 pi times the radius of the circle to the fourth power divided by 4, and then, of course, you can simplify. We have a 2 in the numerator, 4 in the denominator. That would be equal to 1 half pi r to the fourth power. And this is the general formula for the second moment of area of a circle, which is also known as the torsional constant, if you assume that to be the cross-section of a cylindrical pillar like that. And that's how it's done.